Welcome to KBHU Weekly Updates for the week of October 17th. I'm Jackie Robles. And I'm Alex Mentel. Have you registered for the spring 2017 semester? BHSU is urging all students to meet with their advisors and ensure registration for the spring semester is complete. Not sure who your advisor is? Log into WebAdvisor and your advisor's name and contact information is listed on the My Profile page. The best way to ensure the classes you, are ne you needed are offered is to register. Classes not meeting this 10 student minimum are at risk of being cut. Speaking of spring, are you interested in giving back during your spring break? The Alternative Spring Break team is now accepting applications for the 2017 service trip to Pueblo and Denver, Colorado. Applications are due Friday, October 21st. You will meet new people, explore service learning, and the impact it has on communities. There will also be fun stops to enjoy the great Colorado area along the way. There are opportunities to fundraise to cover all expenses. For more information, please contact Chad Bisco. The reproduction of art in digital age will be discussed in this week's Geek Speak. This lecture will explore how mass reproduction, mechanical, and digital transformations have affected how we perceive art. Presented by Dr. Tim Steckline, it is titled 999 Mona Lisas in the Age of Digital Reproduction, a tribute to the life and work of Walter Benjamin. Dr. Steckline will present on, on Thursday, October 20th at 4 p.m. in Jonas Hall, room 110. The event is free and open to the public. The Geek Speak Lecture Series is sponsored by the BHSU University Honors Program. It is meant to feature academic discussion and topics not normally discussed in the traditional classroom. The goal of the weekly lectures is to expose students to diversity within the disciplines. For more information, contact Dr. Courtney Hughes-Weika at 605-642-6918 or email Courtney Hughes-Weika Courtney.Husweika at bhsu.edu. Garden cleanup party for the campus community garden is from 3 to 5 p.m. on October 24th. Come plant garlic and get the last of the harvest at the garden cleanup for food day. The garden is located by the campus apartments. For more information, contact Destiny Durham. The Honor Society is reaching out to all BHSU visual arts students to save the kittens. Courtney Hughes-Weika is asking all students to consider donating a piece of their art for the silent auction held during the annual Furball in November. This event raises money for the West River Spay and Neuter Coalition. Proceeds go to vaccinations and the emergency medical fund for wildcats and kittens. For more information, please contact Courtney.Hughesweika at bhsu.edu or stop by Meyer Hall, room 311. In honor of the 75th year since the completion of Mount Rushmore, the Black Hills Symphony and the Black Hills State University Choir will perform at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center on Saturday, October 22nd at 7.30 p.m. Directed by maestro Bruce Knowles, the performance of Mount Rushmore by Michael Daughtry. Video production is provided by South Dakota Public Broadcasting. For more information, contact Christopher Hahn. BHSU Art Club is hosting a brew and brush at Crow Peak Brewing Company at 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, October 25th. The event is being led by art professor and painter Rachel Stiff and is limited to 24 painters. Art Club will have artists made wares available to buy and will be assisting Professor Stiff. Other art donated by the members will be available, available for the purchase at the Good Earth Natural Food Store on Main Street in downtown Spearfish. The Black Hills State University Office of Admissions is looking for BHSU enthusiasts. The office is hosting an open house on October 29th. Enthusiasts are wanted to volunteer at this open house to share their knowledge and love of BHSU. If you are interested in interacting with prospective students and their families, please contact the admissions office. In recent news, a BHSU alumni received a Premier Woman's Award. Susan Delaney Carey was awarded the 2016 Spirit of Dakota Award in Huron, South Dakota. Delaney Carey attended BHSU in 1947 when it was Black Hills Teacher College. The Spirit of Dakota Award is known as South Dakota's Premier Woman's Award and is on its 30th year. It is awarded each fall to an outstanding, successful, and admired South Dakota woman with demonstrated leadership qualities and deep roots in South Dakota. Dakota. The recipients represent social, cultural, and educational advancement for others. Spirit of Dakota awardees are noted for their courage and strength of character in helping to develop their families and communities. 
2008 winner Elaine Dole Dunn said Susan was a dedicated woman who gave, gave of her time, energy, and talents to the myriad country youth of the Dakota Prairie. In addition to teaching, Delaney Carey ran a cafe, was instrumental in launching the premier celebration rodeo and powwow, and started an arcade to give children a warm, safe place to gather after school, and bought a gas station and added groceries as a service to the community. She also started the Lord's Warriors Lutheran Church and Food Bank in Parmalee after helping develop the Rosebud Lutheran Church. In the arts, the show currently up in the Rudell Gallery features a collection of prints from a variety of exchanges produced by Nine in Hand Press. This exhibit showcases an effort by the Rudell Gallery and Nine in Hand Press to connect printmakers from around the world, exploring all the possibilities of printed matter. The show is titled Contemporary Prints, Nine in Hand Press, and will be available to view through November 4, 2016. If you have not registered to vote, the last day is October 24th in South Dakota to be able to vote in the upcoming election in November. Young voters are a large part of the voting population and the future of our nation. The goal is to get students to stay informed and vote to tackle the issues that matter to them. Now we transition into the world of sports. Wyatt Bills interviews Jacket of the Week, Shandon Jones. Coming off of an impressive 48-34 victory in front of a home crowd against Colorado Mesa, the Yellow Jackets are sitting pretty on top of the RMAC Conference for the first time in several years. This effort has been bolstered by Jacket of the Week, Shandon Jones, who says the success cannot simply be pinned on one thing. From, we had a young team, and a lot of guys are, you know, growing up, they're getting game experience. Uh, you know, really, really coming into the program, I guess, buying in. Um, also, we got a new strength and conditioning coach, Coach Siegman. Uh, really works us hard, high expectations for us. And, and then also I think just the whole coaching staff and uh, all the athletes, there's a new winning attitude. It's, uh, it's an expectation, you know, and a lot of things that are happening, but it's all great. So. A solid team effort combined with a coaching staff that is pushing for success is something that Jones says is a driving force behind the team's newfound winning attitude. Just, you know, the workouts, Coach Siegman, um, he'll have us in there and try and push ourselves every day in the weight room. Uh, I had a pretty bad game uh, earlier on this season, and I was dropping some balls, so I started focusing on catching the ball first, you know, as a wide receiver, that's my job, but, um, you know, nothing, nothing really different, just, like I said, the attitude is different, and uh, everybody's got each other's back. The biggest test of the season for the Jackets comes on September 22nd against the 2014 Division II National Champions, the Colorado St. Pueblo Thunderwolves, and the Jackets are approaching them just like any other opponent. Approaching that game is just like any other game. Uh, we're going to figure out some things that we need to do to be successful. We're going to put, uh, you know, our coaches are going to put the players in positions to be successful. And other than that, we're just going to come out and play jacket football. You know? After his trips to the end zone come to an end, Shandon is looking forward to becoming a high school counselor in order to impact the next generation. He loves our counselors, and I just kind of want to be a chill, you know, nice guy with the younger kids. and. Try and help him out. As always, this is Wyatt Bills with KBHU TV. The date for the SO Movie Night has changed to October 27th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Jacket Zone in downtown Spearfish, featuring Just Eat It, a food waste story. This documentary is about how we waste billions of dollars in food alone in North America. On campus, BHSU is dedicating the new amphitheater in honor of the Schallenkamps. Dr. Kay Schallenkamp is the retired president of BHSU and served from 2006 to 2014. Dr. Ken Schallenkamp is a retired BHSU professor of business of law and served from 2006 to 2016. The dedication is in honor of the positive influence, dedication, and commitment shown by the Schallenkamps to the students, staff, and alumni of Black Hill State. The amphitheater is located between Meyer Hall and the Peaks Residence Hall Complex on Yellow Jacket Lane. The dedication is scheduled for Monday, October 17th at 1.30 p.m. Dress up in your best for the Rocky Horror Picture Show on Friday, October 21st in Club Buzz. The showing starts at 6.30 p.m. and is free for BHSU students and $5 for non-students. KBHU Weekly Updates is a student-produced program. If you have any suggestions for program segments, email us at kbhutv at gmail.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching KBHU Weekly Updates. I'm Alex Mentel. And I'm Jackie Robles.